So here we are in the Reading and Writing Gallery at the Ashmolean Museum, looking very proudly at our new installations. And in with a break with tradition, this time we have the whole Ashley team with us. So I have Dr Hannah Cornwall and Professor Alison Cooley, both from the Ashmolean Latin Inscriptions Project. We're looking at a tiny object, but has caused quite a big splash. One of our highlights and new discoveries. Hannah, you and I have spoken before about slingshots. Can you just remind us what a slingshot is and how it's used? Of course. A slingshot was used by lightly armed troops, a projectile missile, if you will, put in a leather sort of strap, whirled around the head and launched at the enemy. Uh, these were made of sort of lead, quite heavy. If you got hit by one, not very pleasant. How heavy is the one that we're looking at here? It's uh, just over 70 grams, which is about two ounces. Ouch, that's, yeah, ouch. that's quite heavy. <laughs> this particular example of a slingshot comes from a known battle. Yes, it's the Battle of Perusia, which was fought between Octavian, who would become the Emperor Augustus, and uh, Lucius Antonius, the brother of Mark Antony, and Mark Antony's wife, Fulvia. The reason that we originally became interested in this slingshot um, was because, as part of our catalogue of the Latin inscriptions in the Ashmolean, we noticed that the label that it had been given on display didn't quite match up with what we read about it behind the scenes. So this slingshot was originally put in a, a case labelled Identity and was labelled a slingshot belonging to Octavian. Um, Alison, why were we initially suspicious that um, this might in fact be a slingshot belonging to Octavian? Our suspicions were roused simply because of the use of the name Octavian or Octavius. This was a name that, at the time, Octavian, as we now call him, would not have countenanced using. He regarded himself rather as the young Julius Caesar, or even better, Imperator Caesar, the victorious commander Caesar. And he really didn't want to be reminded of his rather humble background as a mere Octavius. So immediately we thought there was something not quite right in the way that this sling bullet had been interpreted. We thought that instead of it being issued by Octavius, it was much more likely that it was issued by the Antonians and would have been hurled at Octavian's forces. Apart from what we found in the archive about this sling bullet, it was also actually published in the Proceedings of the Society of Antiquities of London in 1864 by Charles Fortnum, who then presented it to the Ashmolean Museum. So he published a series of four bullets from Perugia, two with inscriptions and two without. He was rather nonplussed by this and described it simply as worn and rudely made. <laughs> he was right there. So our first move was to have it taken off display so that we could inspect it closely and we found that in fact it had writing on more than one face so rather than just Octavian we found other letters there. It was examined by the great scholar Zangermeist at the end of the 19th century who decided that the text actually read Hail Octavius and that we have the Latin word salve written backwards. But for a number of reasons, we thought this was probably not the correct reading. Hannah, do you remember what ha happened first? Well, first of all, you and I were, were taking photographs of them and, and, and pondering over what uh, the other two sides said. First of all, I think uh, you read the letters E-M-A-S, <laughs> M-A-S, which means... Uh, I was going for, eat this Octavian. <laughs> it's quite a nice sort of, you know, soldier humour <laughs> going humor. on. Uh, Alison then asked me if I could look at uh, an edition of Slingshots by Bernadetti, and I discovered a uh, similar bullet to the one that we have, which had a slightly different reading. What was the reading? The reading was Felas. Felas Octavi. Mm -hmm. So Felate Octavi, or in, uh, in soldier's parlance, your suck cock Octavi. Suck cock, exactly. Lovely, very direct. <laughs> so this takes on a rather different flavour from the rather genteel, this slingshot belongs to Octavian. Alison, what about the third face that we found on this slingshot? So even more exciting was the fact that we reread a third inscription. Previously, it had simply been VLXE. Um, by looking at it more closely, I suggested that, in fact, we've got a legion. What we had was the 10th equestrian legion, so LE, and then the Roman numeral for 10, and then E for equestris. And this fits brilliantly, because we know that this was actually one of the Antonian legions fighting at the very Battle of Perugia. So we started with an object 
that was described in one way and now we've discovered that actually it has a really rather different reading. Yes, and it actually fits in perfectly with a whole series of incredibly rude and insulting bullets that were exchanged by both sides at the Battle of Perusia in the Roman Civil Wars. <laughs>